So we will stand up all together, raise our eyes up to the sky. With faith and love in our hearts, we will embark. Oh, oh, oh. We will give a we can give. Ah, of course. Well, now this is an interesting development. Anyway, season five is officially underway. Hello, my fellow Latter day Saints, Kenzie Redshaw here. Welcome to the start of Rocket League season five. And as you can see, we've got we've had some new updates for Rocket League. Let's have a look at some of the progression update for So let's have a look at how this all works. So here we go. Um Players. Yep. Cult use more secure. Okay. Just no ah, here we go. Ranked extra modes are out before multiplayer progression. Post match XP screen has been shortened and can now be skipped, bringing you right to the end match screen and lobby. Consecutive match bonus has been increased from 50 XP to 200 XP. Weekly win bonus has been changed from a multiplayer from a multiplier to a flat amount of 2,500 XP per eligible win. Okay, look, bug fixes, yada yada yada. Hot Wheels Rivals Arena, eh? Okay, so let's have a look at what this is all about. So let's have a look. Online, now playing up to the remote. Upgrade to a premium at any time for and for all. For only 10 keys and tear up even faster by using additional keys. Hmm, interesting. So basically a loot box. So you earn up to 29 rewards just by playing online Rocket League matches. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, so here we go. So there we go. So we go. Here's, the, here's the whole Rocket Pass thing here. Champion, eh? Hmm. Interesting crossbar hero. Hmm, okay, this will do. Right, so here we go. We have got the champ the Rocket League Champions League, and for the first time, we are gonna have the full group stage. Each team each team is going to play each other twice. And the winners, the top two will go into the last 16 for the Rocket League Champions League. Whereas the bottom two in each group will go into the Rocket League Europa League. And then after that, you'll have the winner of the Rocket League Champions League and the winner of the U Rocket League Europa League 
and we're going for the Rocket League UEFA Super Cup. So, here we go. I'm not going to have time to go through all the competitors, but is basically just the run through with the Champions League team in the background because <laughs> the because the IRL Champions League because the Champions League is officially underway so here we go we're going to start off in group A Stadiums. There you go, there's your rival arena there. Double goal. There we go. There we go, there's your rap, rap, random. So here we go. The first match. We are officially underway. Atletico. Wait, no, actually, don't scratch that. We're going to go by the matches here. We've got Borussia Dortmund and Monaco. That is our first match of this season's Rocket League Champions League. Now, here we go. Borussia Dortmund in blue. Monaco in orange. And the Champions League is underway. Retro already out of the gates. And of course, what you need to bear in mind is that... Whoa, Junker takes the shot! What a save from C-Block. Bearing in mind, usual Rocket League rules apply. If it is a draw after the five minutes, it will go into overtime. Three points for a win. And unfortunately, a big fat zero for a loss. Retro! And Retro scores the first goal of the Champions League. First blood to Monaco. Fantastic save from C block there.
50. Must be 50 years of Hot Wheels. Now, I loved Hot Wheels growing up. And there was a there was actually a Hot Wheels expansion for Forza Horizon 3. Which one of my friends has. I just got Forza Horizon 4 earlier today with Xbox Game Pass. And it is really, really good. And wow! Superb shot from Retro, and that's two! Denial that they bring. You make the choice to give me angels' wings. That is 2-0 to Monaco. Demolition there. You'll see they've actually tweaked some of the um, XP gains. Meaning you don't get any XP for your first touch. It's just for... Your shots, your goals, your assists. And everything in between. You don't get any points for an aerial hits anymore now. I say like, aerial hits. Trying to get an aerial hit for a goal is not as easy as it looks. Monaco almost three 0 up there. And don't, oh! Despite the incredible saves, it wasn't enough, and Borussia Dortmund have just got one back. First touch there from Retro. Ten seconds left. Could Dortmund force overtime? Not on this occasion. Club Bruges and Atletico Madrid. Salty with the shot. Couldn't get the goal. <sighs> Molly with the shot. Right on the edge. Couldn't get it in.
Sentis with the sh. Sentis going for it. Fence. Khan gets it away. And Khan! Beautiful! Khan gets the goal. Marley with the assist. Um, what's also going to be happening, guys, is what's also going to be happening is that there's going to be um, there's going to be an update on what's happening with. I'm going to have. Um, couple of changes to the schedule. Don't worry, I'm still going to be uploading every day as much as I can. Don't worry. What is going to be happening though is uh, I'm going to be doing everything wrong with Tom and Jerry on Saturday as normal this week. But what's also going to be happening is that I'm also going to be starting everything wrong with The Apprentice. The new series starts tomorrow. And it's going to be an absolute barnstormer. 12 weeks of everything wrong with The Apprentice. And I'm going to have a good friend who is also a fan of the show. Watching as well. Come with the shot. Beautiful. That's 2-0 to Madrid. Go. Good clearance there from Retro. Retro with the shot. Ooh, unlucky there. Here comes Retro! Nope! Great save from Sentis. Keeping a clean sheet. Tottenham Hotspur, PSV Eindhoven. Here we go. Tottenham in blue, PSV in orange. You see there? 
five minutes of overtime maximum. Because of what happened between PSG and Real Madrid. But we're still going to have that. We're still going to have the golden goal rule. Tottenham's first appearance in the Champions League was the, I believe, 2010-2011 season. And they got all the way to the quarterfinals, losing to Real Madrid. Mountain with the shot. What a save there from Myrtle. Retro! What a shot! Less than two minutes to go. And that's... Th oh, hello! Tottenham with an equaliser. And that's... Wow! Absolutely disastrous defending from Tottenham. And PSV 2-1 up. Not the way Tottenham would have wanted to start their campaign. The 
next match off. The next match after this is Inter Milan and Barcelona. They sound like they're from Mad Max. Well, granted, this came out at roughly the same time as the film. But anyway. Retro makes it three! And that's They hold their nerve. PSV winning 3 2. So it looks like the leveling up system only applies to online matches. Fair play. Next up, into Milan and Barcelona. Into Milan in blue, Barcelona in orange. That is, that's Tiran on the edge, and Retro scores! Demolition there on midi. the crossbar good opportunity there though from retro nice 
nicely done there. And Retro gets the double! Great save there from Bandit. From midi shot. Great clearance there from Retro. Seconds left, and as it stands, into Milan. Gonna to top the group on goal difference. Another demolition there. Retro for the hat trick! Tusk takes the goal. Retro gets credit for the assist. That is 3 0 to Inter Milan. Saber to. What the? Wow! I just three one. And Bandit! Ha <laughs> ha! Sayonara, Barcelona! That did not last very long. Deflects off the keeper. 4-1 now. On to Group C now. Napoli versus Liverpool. Napoli in blue, Liverpool in orange. And straight out of the gate, Rainmaker already won the up for Napoli! Retro credited with the assist. Simply brilliant. Good 
Goose with the short Rainmaker with the clearance. Well, save even. Retro! Wonderful shot! Napoli 2, Liverpool 0, and we're not even 30 seconds into the match. Retro went went for the heroic dribble all the way. What a save from C-Block, but Goose gets the ricochet. Liverpool with that red devil spirit. No wait, the Red Devils are Liverpool, uh, Manchester United. What on earth was that? He was just driving. Wrong sport. Wrong sport. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Retro with the shot, Casper with the save. Retro with another shot there, couldn't quite hit the target. There's two minutes left. Napoli still holding on to that lead. Casper with the shot. Retro. Not giving them a sniff of a chance. Retro with a shot. Goose with the save. What a shot there from Retro. Business just picked up. Liverpool are level with just over a minute to go.
Myrtle, very well played. And we are heading into overtime. Now the overtime limit is five minutes. But the overtime rules as far as scoring is concerned remain the same. First to score within the five minutes will win. And we may not have to wait that long. Seablog with the shot. It's our first game that's gone into overtime today. And it's delivered plenty of excitement, plenty of drama. Jester with the shot, Caveman with a great save. Keeps it in the area. Caveman with the shot. <sighs> Couldn't quite get the target. Great. Clear. There's a great stoppage there. Whoa, heads up. And that's it! C Block wins the game in overtime. Napoli 3, Liverpool 2. I love the fact they've actually got the thing. I just spotted there someone actually, they actually had an own goal. Trader! Trader! Red Star Belgrade. Paris Saint Germain. The, PS the PSG and Real Madrid, I mentioned earlier, had a thrilling battle in. Last season's Champions League. Midi with the shot there. Couldn't quite get it in. It was in the last, it was right at the beginning at the last 16, where the first leg was only 2-1 and then Madrid annihilated PSG 6-0 in the second leg.
He tries they might. Real Madrid could only manage fourth place against Liverpool, who went third, and it was Chelsea versus Manchester United, a repeat of the 2008 final. But on that, but on that occasion, Chelsea reigned supreme. Buzz with the shot, Iceman with the save. Just over two minutes to go, and it is still goalless. Demolition there on midi. Both teams Playing very well defensively. But try as they might, can not find the target. And oh no! Red Star with a huge mistake. Red Star Belgrade one nil up. Retro just saw his mistake. Commentator's curse strikes again. It's over for PSG. <laughs> Locomotive Moscow. No, it's Porto and Schalke. Porto in Porto in blue, Schalke in orange. A bit too eager there. Bandit with the shot. Not today.
after this match and the next one it's gonna be we're gonna have two four groups left for the first round of matches I'm strong with the shot. Not on this occasion. Clearance there from Retro. Demolition! Retro running riot here. About halfway through the match. Still nil-nil. Schalke with an attempt. Storm with the shot. Retro, another clearance. But Retro with the shot! Raja! Raja gets the goal. Retro credited with the assist. Armstrong with the shot. Scout, incredible save. Gowin prevents the goal. Bandit, 2-0 now. Save there from Retro. Whoa! Was not expecting that. And there we go. Armstrong with a save of his own, but Bandit 1, 2, 3, and he's in. 3 0 to Porto. Ten seconds left. This is more or less. This is more or less game over at this point. Wait a minute! What the? And there goes the clean sheet, right at the death.
Shelka prevents the clean sheet right at the death. Ah, now this is where the fun begins. This is the stadium where we had that 2-1 thriller between Real Madrid and Paris Saint-Germain. Now we've got Galatasaray and Lokomotiv Moscow. And the ramps at the back of the goals are perfect for executing the aerial hits. Now this is the toughest stadium to score a goal on, as PSG and Real Madrid last season can testify to. I guarantee this will not be the last time we see this stadium this season. But whether it gets used in the last in the round of 16 or not is another is another issue entirely. Wait, heads up. Are we about to see our first goal? Here we do! First blood to Lokomotiv Moscow! Who I believe are making their first ever appearance in Champions League history. Not right! No, they did make appearances in the Champions League previously, uh, 2002 and 2003. Didn't take, didn't take too long to get that first goal. Oh, Shepard demolishing Wolfman. Are we about to see an equaliser? Yes, we are! come PSG and Real Madrid had a lot of difficulty scoring goals and yet you've got Galatasaray and Lokomotiv Moscow making it look easy. How is that possible? Anyway. I mean, it took PS. It took Madrid what about six, seven minutes of overtime just to try and break the deadlock. Well, there's the defensive work 
I can play. Retro tried to get it into the center. Wasn't to be. Minute to go. Forty five seconds still level at one apiece. Wrong sport. Wrong sport. Samara keeping it on the edge of the field, preventing Retro from taking the opportunity to try and get that second goal that will break this deadlock. And we're only going to need one more goal because this is going into... It is going to overtime! So there we go. The five minute timer starting to tick down. And once that timer hits zero, that is it. Retro tried to get it into the target area, but not successful on this occasion. Demolition there. Marge with the smallie. There we go. Locomotive Moscow with their first appearance in the Champions League in 15 years have only gone and secured the win.